Columbus police are using new tools and techniques to catch impaired drivers, like today's daytime sobriety checkpoint on Cleveland Avenue between 161 and Morse Road. NBC4's Rick Reitzel explains why these checkpoints, normally seen at night, are now being set up during daylight hours. Drivers using drugs and alcohol are on the road with you even during the daylight hours. Columbus police say a survey shows during the day 1% of the drivers pulled over were drunk. But the presence of drug uh, impaired drivers was 11%. And then when you come to the nighttime, you go to higher than 14%. So we know that there are uh, more drug impaired drivers in the daytime than there are alcohol. Police say to help nab drivers breaking the law, they're using daytime checkpoints, drug recognition experts, and this, a mobile breath testing truck. Ohio has 80 officers trained as drug recognition experts, two here in Columbus, both at this sobriety checkpoint. Look for physiologic symptoms. We look for things that are out of norm, norm uh, about your appearance, uh, about your relation to time and space. And then from there, we can begin an investigation. Most of the drivers pulled out of line were for driver's license or seatbelt violations. Kathy Gordon volunteered to help through the Citizens Police Academy Alumni Association. Stopping impaired drivers is personal to her. I had a grandfather who was killed by a drunk driver. Uh, he was doing a civic duty, taking someone to the hospital who was pregnant. All three died. Joshua Webb and his buddy were stopped for a seatbelt violation. What's your thoughts about them having checkpoints, especially in the middle of the day? I mean, it's different. I mean, you never know when people are out there impaired on the road. So, I mean, it's safer for everybody. The effort to catch impaired drivers is being funded by a quarter million dollar federal traffic safety grant. In Columbus, Rick Reitzel, NBC4. The push to stop.